Hello everyone, so welcome to the tour of the outside of Anfield. So we're going to take you around the outside of Anfield today. Um, I don't know, hopefully it'll make you smile amongst everything that's going on. Hopefully it'll give you a little bit of a glimpse of Anfield. If you haven't seen it for a while, or if you've never been, this is going to be the outside of Anfield. And the walk, the approach now, and this is the walk so many people take um, when going on a match day, and as you can see, Anfield in the background. So we will be starting by the King Kenny stand. The first stand that you see here is the King Kenny stand. So, Kenny Dalglish stands and obviously this is where they normally have like food trucks and that so we don't normally come but this is where the Kenny stand is and I should come and obviously normally you'd walk in there I don't know how close I'll be able to get giving me a little look that would normally be like on King Kenny and then you'd walk down and we'd come towards towards the car so as you come towards the copy here where it says cop bar and where you go in for like the to see the trophy and stuff this used to be the old shop so this was the old like Shop where you could go in and buy the shirts and everything. But obviously, it's changed now. So, as you're coming through, into like the cop area. It's a gorgeous day for it, so I think I've picked the best day to do this. Pick up the cop. And then, this is where the cop bar is. We've got the Paisley Gateway here. So yeah, this is obviously outside the cop where the sports shop used to be is now where like the cop bar and the museum is and there used to actually be a McDonald's there and I remember when I was in school we used to come to that McDonald's so yeah, sometimes. Yeah, here you've got Shankly in all his glory and he really did make the people happy, didn't he? So hopefully this makes you happy today. So yeah, this little food and drink cart here, this used to be an... Um, this used to be a McDonald's, a little tiny McDonald's, and it was open even on not on match days, and you used to just be able to come and get Matthews, and we used to do that when we were in school. And then if you just look over this side, this is where the shop is now, and obviously the shop's a lot bigger now. It's like a big superstore, and there's lots in the shop to see as you go there. And we're just walking away from the car. How amazing does it look in the sunshine? Some entrances there and this is where you're going for the stadium tours as well so stadium tours are there and then you've got the actual shop so itself. as you come to the side of the shop there's obviously the crest is there and then you've got the statue And then that's the, the entrance. So you've got the cop in the distance. And then you bring yourself to the new main stand, which isn't really new anymore, is it? But you know what I mean? That's the main stand. So we're gonna head over to the main stand. So right, you turn the corner here. This is called um, 96 Avenue. And obviously you've got where the stairs go up to those turnstiles. And then we come down and all the way down here you've got like um like people have bought plaques and stuff and got them on the floor with the names and then you've got like little benches with like legends from liverpool on with all their appearances and any like, like quotes or like games that they might have played in but yeah this is the main stand so this is like 96 avenue over there you've got a nice the 96 which of course we'll never forget. 
you're just walking down so these are plaques that people have bought for like family and things like that you got that one moving it over to this one and obviously you can see the main stand and all its glory there and then bringing yourself down to the next one There's so many of these like, little plaques on the floor. But again, such a main stand. The Hillsborough Memorial, the Eternal Flame. I'll go over to that now. You got Bill Shankly. Over there. And then we're coming over. The next one. It's so quiet. It feels so weird to see it on feel like so quiet. Normally around here you can't even like move because it's so busy. And then Kenny's. And then moving over. Looks like there's some work getting done over here, so you won't be able to see Gerard's because looks like there's some work getting done over here. Even Gerard is normally there, and obviously looking up again towards the main stand. So we'll go over now. So the obviously, plane. as we walk over now, this is the the memorial. And this is the hill for fame. Now this used to be on the Annie Road end, but once the main stand got done, it moved over here. So this is where this is now, compared to where it was before. It's now on the main stand, and this is the amazing eternal flame that's here for the Hillsborough. So just going to head round now to Anfield Road End. So there you go, 96 Avenue. So walking round to the Annie Road End. So this is where you'll get half of the away fans going in on this end. And then we'll make our way back all the way round to um, Kelly Dadbury's stand. So yeah, more stairs there, lots of work getting done. Ooh, we can't go in the ground. So where we are, come around Anfield Road. So this end is normally like you'll get like some away fans and then obviously our fans go in on this side and just bring them around so as we walk down it's so sad that like i just wish the turnstiles were open and we could just walk through that turnstile so this and goes the part dance. of the alley road is actually um like where the away fans will go in so they've got their entrances obviously all the turnstiles are closed but you'll see this is where, um, yeah, where the away fans go in on like a match day. So, it's so sad. I feel like I just want to like go in through the third style. I'm just going to cross over the road. And then on a match day, you've got like fun things going on here. Facing the Annie Road. Mighty red. And then if you look back, you've got the main stand in all its glory so we'll just keep on walking down the uh, alley where we end we're coming up to the gates now you'll never walk alone to the the infamous gates and the other side of the king kenny as well so we've done like a full 360 round the ground because you can't cut through i probably could have tried but so yeah, to just walking it. around now to where the, the gates are, Bill Shankly just come past um, the Annie Road and we'll have done the whole round of the outside of the ground. And I hope you've enjoyed it. At the end, I'm coming up to the gates for Bill Shankly. We've got a nice quote just outside here. And then... We've got the gates. Just in the distance <coughs> is the Kenny Dalby stand. And then obviously the gates there and then you'd walk to the end. Turn down this road and then we'd be back where we started to down Skelly's Road. Would take us all the way down the road back to where we began so down there but as you can see we've got 
say Kenny's ugly stand in the distance. Get a closer look at these gates. And a lot of the murals around here as well, aren't they? And the video I've done, so. Got a little bit above the gates there. So I hope you have enjoyed this little video of the outside of Anfield. Now, I started doing these little videos in lockdown just to kind of brighten people's day, you know, with everything that's going on. It's nice to get a little bit of positivity, isn't it? So I hope in some way this has brightened your day, brought a smile to your face and just give you a little bit of your heart back. Some people might be like, shut up girl, we're not bothered. But if I just make one person smile and know that it's brightened someone's day, then that's a job done for me and I cannot wait to the day that these doors are open and we can go through i really can't wait for it but for now we're just going to have to remember all the memories of anfield so whether you've been to anfield or not you've never been it's been a while i really hope this video has brought a little love into your heart and feel free to share and just thanks for watching my little ramblings around anfield <laughs>